activate Fluffy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Land ho! <laughs> Hide our treasure, First Mate Debo. <laughs> I love playing pirates. Yar, me too. What is it, Debo? Whoa! Wow! It's a treasure map! Hmm, I wonder, how do you find buried treasure? I can help. X is where the treasure is buried. So cool! But how do we get to the X? First, we need to figure out where we are. Do you see anything you recognize from the map? Hey! That elephant-shaped rock looks just like the one on the map. Now you see those dashes? According to the map scale, each dash is equal to one step. Hmm, there's five dashes, so that's five steps. Right! Huh? And according to my compass watch, we need to walk five steps north, which is this way. One, two, three, four, five. The map says we need to climb up the tree. How are we gonna do that? Look, a rope ladder. <laughs> nice work, First Mate Debo. <laughs> Treasure, here we come. Whoa, a secret door. But how do we open it? This hopscotch grid is on the map. <gasps> I've got it! Blippi, try hopping only on the blue squares. All right! We did it! Let's go! Marks the spot. <laughs> Woohoo! We found the treasure, and I got the answer to my question. How do you find buried treasure? To find buried treasure, you need a map, and to follow the directions written on it to find the X. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Who were they? Let's go find out! <laughs> Yeah! Now all that's left to do is make the horn sound like a bruntusus. Bruntusus? Brown. Let's sound it out. Bron to sor us. Brontosaurus. Awesome! Stupendous! Perfection! Oh, wait. I don't think this book has a section on dinosaur sounds. Hmm, I wonder. Where can we find more books about dinosaurs? Oh, I know. Let's try the library. Great idea, Babel. What? The Brontomobile <laughs> is ready for adventure. All right. Yeah, books. <laughs> Shh. Sorry. Whoa. Oh. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Hi, I'm Katie the Caterpillar, here for any of your library needs. And I'm Babble. Oh my, oh my. A whole section of balloon animals? I love books so much. Hey, Katie. 
can you help us find the dinosaur books? Of course I can help! Wait for me! I want to come too! Ah! Whoa! Can you help me carry these, please? Dinosaurs from A to Z. The biggest roar and more. My friend, the Triceratops. Hey, Babel, do you think I have too many books about dinosaurs? You could never have too many books. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent choices. Thanks for your help, Katie. And I got the answer to my question. Where can I find more books about dinosaurs? At the library. <laughs> yeah. Upload answer tabs. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I hope Grandpa Blippy gets his birthday card in time. Hmm, I wonder, how does a letter get to where it needs to go? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and follow the letters to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. I wonder where all these letters and postcards are going. Whoa! Hi there, I'm Lana the Letter. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <coughs> Lana, we're wondering, how do letters like you get to where you need to go? <coughs> Whoa! What's happening? We're moving one step closer to our destinations. <laughs> Just stick with me. <coughs> Whee! Ooh. Ooh. Everybody, hold on! We're in for a bumpy ride! Lana, where are we going? We're being transported! Whoa! To Grandpa Blippi's mailbox? Not just yet, we're at... Oof. The post office! Whoa! The post office! So cool! Whoa! Oof. Now... It's time for us to get sorted. Sorted? How? First, by size. Just think like a letter, Blippi. Huh, yeah. Wee <laughs> Once us letters and packages are sorted by size, we are sorted to face the same way. Woo! Hey, that tickles. And then the letters are scanned for their stamps. Oh, no. But what if I don't have a stamp? I got you covered. Yay. Wait, where's Debo? <laughs> He's probably enjoying the ride, just like us. Here you are, Debo. Where are we going now? To the mail truck! 
Maybe! The truck takes every letter to the exact mailbox it needs to be delivered to. So cool! Next stop, Grandpa Blippi's house! Whee! Bye, Lana. Thanks for helping us get around the post office. Bye, Blippi and Debo! What do we got here? A birthday card from Blippi? Hot dog! Aw, he loves it! And I got the answer to my question. A letter gets to where it needs to go by being dropped in a mailbox, transported to the post office, sorted, then delivered by a mail truck. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm so excited to watch the rocket launch, Debo. Wow! It must be so cool to go to outer space. Hmm, I wonder, what's it like to be an astronaut? Great idea, Debo. Let's fly up to space and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster confirmed. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Blast off! There it is, Debo. Hey there, space explorers. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Rihanna. We're wondering, what's it like to be an astronaut? That's a great question. Come on board and I'll show you. Awesome! Whoa! Welcome. Debo, you're floating. That's because gravity, the invisible force that keeps your feet on the ground, is weaker in space. So you float. Astronauts call this zero gravity. Whoa! Hey, Debo, how about a snack? Oh no, those snacks can jam up my sensors. Don't worry, Rihanna, I've got this. Um. 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 Hey, Blippi, there's one more over here. Um. Astronauts eat special food from special containers that you have to add water to, as well as fresh fruit and veggies. Over here, see? You have to put the water back in so you can cook the food and eat it. Wow! <gasps> oh no! Debo! How did you get out there? He must have gotten out through the escape hatch. Blippi, I need you to go out there and fix the rocket's navigator. All right! Blippi, wait! Oh. You need to wear a space suit to go on a spacewalk. Oh yeah! Hey! Come back here, Boot. Now you're ready. The spacesuit will protect you from the cold temperatures of outer space and provide you with air so you can breathe. Whoa! Hmm, I think I need a special tool to open this hatch and fix the navigator. All right! Thank you, Blippi. You fixed the navigator. Now I can keep exploring outer space. Yeah! And I got the answer to my question. What's it like to be an astronaut? It's awesome! You get to float around in zero gravity, wear a spacesuit, and go on spacewalks. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Don't forget about the space food. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, Rihanna. Buh bye <laughs> Fun in the sun? Here we come. Good idea, Tabs. I should put some sunscreen on first. Oh, no. I can't find it. Hmm. I wonder. Why do I have to wear sunscreen? Oh no! Is it really that important? What are we gonna do? No! So 
Señor Super Sunscreen to the rescue! Whoa! Hola, amigos! That means hello, friends. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Here, Blippi, hold out your hands. Okay. Even though sunlight is good for you, we need to make sure you're protected. Perfecto, Blippi! All right. Now we can finally have some fun in the sun. Hey there, Boom! Blippi! You can't go play yet! You missed a spot! Huh? How can you tell? Here, look through these special sunglasses I made! Whoa! Cool! That's the sunscreen working to protect you. The sun gives off extra strong beams of light called ultraviolet rays. Even though you can't see ultraviolet rays, too much can cause a sunburn. What's this spot? That's the spot you missed. I hold out your hand, Bleepy. All right. Oh, no. That person missed a spot, too. We must protect them with sunscreen. To the Blippi Mobile. Go, Blippi, go! I'm gonna need helicopter blades and the harness. Helicopter blades, harness, confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Save that sunbather from sunburn! All right, Tabs! Let's protect some skin! Senor Super Sunscreen to the rescue! Tabs! Now left! We did it! Growing up! Weppa! Nice job, Bleepy! Thanks for a super adventure, Senor Super Sunscreen! And I got the answer to my question. Why do I have to wear sunscreen? I have to wear sunscreen because it protects our skin from the ultraviolet light of the sun, which can cause sunburn. Upload answer tabs. Now, who's up for some fun in the sun? Yeah! <sighs> Are you ready, Mika? Yeah, Bliffy! Let's go! <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Do you wanna have some fun? Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Summer is here, let's go and play I wonder what fun we'll have today Let's play catch with a ball and glove Summer is the season that I love We can splash in the swimming pool Come on, Blue, you can join in too I'm excited, I can't wait Just remember to hydrate Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Eating ice cream when the weather's hot. Please be careful or it will drop. The crew's eating popsicles, one for me, please. Oh no, watch out! Boom's got a brain freeze. I like two scoops on my ice cream cone for Debo too, instead of a phone. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, 
fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Oh, hey there, Sun. Hey there, Blippi. When you're shining, it's so much fun. Hmm, I wonder, how do you shine so bright? Well, I'm actually a big ball of gas, which creates a lot of energy, both heat and light. Wow, that's so interesting. Okay, upload, answer Debo, and let's go. <laughs> Driving around in the Blippi Mobile, me and Debo behind the wheel. Fun in the sun, playing on our speakers. Wind in our hair and feeling the beat, yeah. Summer is my favorite time of year. The sun shines bright and the sky is clear. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. This is so much yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. We can dig the pool with hey, our hey, excavator. Hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey there, sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Game is sun, it's been so fun. Bye bye <laughs> Ah, Italy. What a cool country. Someone's got the tummy rumbles. I am feeling hungry. Great idea, Debo. Let's get an authentic Italian pizza. Ciao! Did someone say pizza? I'm Paola Parmigiano. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika and Debo. Hi, Paola. We'd love a slice of pizza. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, I have some bad news. I'm sold out. Oh, but I could help you make a fresh pizza of your own. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make pizza? Come on in. All right. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! All right, let's get this pizza started. The first step is kneading the dough, huh? Kneading means to press and fold the dough like this. Ooh. Ooh! This strengthens its structure! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Wow! <laughs> the next step is to stretch the dough until it's the proper pizza shape. Everyone, grab an edge! One, two, three! <laughs> Look out! The next step is to cover our stretched out dough in the sauce. All right. Woo! <laughs> the next step is to put on the cheese. Huh? The sauce is hot lava. Now it's my favorite part! Choosing toppings that you love to make the best pizza ever! How about mushrooms? Olives coming through! <laughs> Our smiling pizza makes me smile! Me too! It's time for the last step! Are you ready, Bleepy? Ready, Paula! Time to bake the pizza! But you have to be very careful. The oven is hot. Careful. Careful. Yeah! Delicioso! Thanks for answering my question, Paula. Pizza is made by kneading and stretching the dough, adding sauce, cheese, and toppings, and then baking it all in the oven. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Ciao for now. Ciao, Paula. 
Grazie for the pizza. Bye bye. Whoops! <laughs> Excuse me. That was a big burp, Flippy. Hmm. I wonder why do people burp? Oh, I can tell you, but it's more fun to show you. Off to the nearest mouth. All right. I'm gonna need frog legs. Frog legs confirmed. Shrinking down. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Open wide! Whee! <laughs> this is perfect! He's chewing way too fast! Look at all the air he's swallowing! Whoa! Well, that was fun! Debo, you can open your eyes now. I think it's over. Here we go again! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna need monkey arms. Monkey arm confirmed. Whoa! 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 What's that? It's called the esophagus. We all have them. It's a long tube that connects the throat to the stomach. Woo! Esophagus! That's a fun word. E sof a gus! <coughs> Whoa! He's coughing up a storm! <laughs> oh yeah! These are ideal conditions for a big old burp! Boobs away! Oh no! Hang on to your seats, everybody! Whoa! So cool! Careful! The bubble's delicate and can explode at any moment! <laughs> yes! Get it! Get it, Ball! Whee! <laughs> oh, yeah! The bubble is all the extra air that this guy swallowed! It's like a trampoline! Whoa! whoa, whoa. The air bubble is rising up the esophagus and toward the mouth. <laughs> Whoa. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Experiment complete. <laughs> that was so fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why do people burp? People burp when they swallow too much air and it builds up inside the esophagus. The body gets rid of the air by burping. <coughs> Upload answer, Debo. I think it's time to dance. Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom. Let's boom cha cha with boom. Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom. Aw, but we're having so much fun! Hmm, I wonder, why do we have to sleep? Hey, it's me, Blippi! And this is Benjamin and Debo! Well, hello there! Are we all ready for a bedtime story? Not yet! We need to go through my bedtime checklist first! Pajamas? Yeah! Check! Brush teeth? <laughs> Check! Okay, Mr. Book, we're ready! Ooh. Our slumber saga begins with two familiar friends looking for fun and adventure. Ribbit! That sounds like Debo! Oh no! It is Debo! We gotta save him! Blippi and Benjamin to the rescue! Whoa! Our heroes could not begin their adventure without a good night's sleep. Maybe we should rest first. Good idea, Blippi. They soon found that sleep gave them the energy to scale any obstacle, however mighty. Wow! I 
feel great. Look out, mountain! Here we come! They danced. <laughs> and they leapt. Until they reached the top of the mountain. Hmm. We're coming, Debo! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoa! whoa. Ah. Woo. Woo. That was a close one. <sighs> Maybe if we push the boulder in the hole, we can walk across it. But the energizing effects of sleep were starting to wear off. <laughs> it's no use. Maybe we should rest. Our daring duo woke up with rested minds and strengthened bodies. I feel stronger. Look, we grew bigger too. <laughs> All right. But there was one more obstacle for our duo to tackle. Hi, Bella. Would you mind moving so Debo can get down? I don't want to move. I'm grumpy. I think Bella needs a nap. Let's all take a nap. Okay, fine. I feel great. Me too. That nap made me happy. Woohoo! Time to hula hoop. <laughs> that day, Blippi and his friends learned that sleep is the secret ingredient to happiness. <laughs> wow! That was awesome! And I got the answer to my question. <gasps> Why do we have to go to sleep? Because it gives you energy makes you big and strong, and makes you happy too. Upload answer, Debo. Good night, Blippi, Debo, and Benjamin. Sleep tight. <laughs> nice catch, Debo. Do you hear that? That's one cool beat. I can't stop moving. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why does music make us want to dance? Hi, Blippi. Hi, Mika. Hey, Benjamin. That was some pretty sweet beatboxing you were doing. Yeah, it made me want to dance. Hey, Benjamin, do you know why music makes us want to move our bodies and dance? I sure do. Just shrink down to my size and I'll show you. All right. Shrinking down. Awesome. Now we're ready to party. Yeah. Hit it, DJ D-Bops. When we hear music, we enjoy the sound of it. This beat makes me want to move my feet. I love this song. And our bodies want to explain how the noise is being made. So we move in a way that matches the rhythm. On the beat. Woo, a classical song. Love your moves, Blippi. Check out yours, Mika. <laughs> now we've got the same moves. Together. Woohoo! Hey, DJ D Bops, pick up that tempo! Flippy, I challenge you to a dance off! It's on! Dance on! Go, Flippy! Go, Flippy! Break it down, Mika! a nice ring. It makes me wanna sing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. 
I almost forgot one more thing about dancing. What is it? That it's super fun. Oh, yeah. It's a blast. <laughs> Thanks for answering my question, Benjamin. Music makes us want to dance because our bodies want to match the beat. It's a great way to connect with friends. And it's so much fun. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Who's ready for a dance-off? Round two. <laughs> it's on. Dance on! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Race you to the ball pit. Okay, Blippi. Huddle ball activate. <laughs> Whoa. Silly somersault. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was totally awesome, Debo. <laughs> Huh? <gasps> Is that a puppy? I love puppies! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo and Blue. What's your name? <laughs> Lily! What a cute name! Great idea, Lily! <laughs> Blippi, Lily wants you to throw the ball for us. Okay, Lily and Blue, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Go fetch! <laughs> Look at how fast Lily's tail is wagging. Hmm, I wonder, why do dogs wag their tails? <laughs> Uh-oh, I think Debo's broken. <sighs> Oh, no! Lily's probably scared. Debo, try giving her a treat. Now, hold out your paw so she can sniff you and know you're a friend. Yeah, Lily! All better. Do you want me to throw the ball again? She's so excited! Ready, go, fetch! Oh, she's so happy! Too hard, Blue! Oh no, is Debo okay? <laughs> Debo, you're all better! Hugs? <laughs> Not so hard, Blue. Good girl, Lily. Good girl. She's so cute. Hugs? Be gentle, Blue. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> Hey, look at how fast her tail is wagging. Yeah, dogs wag their tails as a way of showing emotion, like fear or, or excitement. <laughs> Just like my antennas glow different colors for all my different feelings. I got the answer to my question. Why do dogs wag their tails? Dogs wag their tails to show emotions like fear or excitement. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, Lily. Good girl. <laughs> okay, Babel. I spy with my little eye something that starts with J. Plenty of sea creatures start with J. Jackfish, jelly mouse fish, even jewelfish. <laughs> Not now, Tabs. I'm looking for a jellyfish. Oh, it's jellyfish. <laughs> okay, Tabs. Your turn. I spy a dolphin. Listen. She's trying to communicate with us. Hmm. I wonder. How do dolphins communicate? 
Here we come, little dolphin. Ooh. Whoa! It's so murky. It's murky and hard to see because of all the sand floating in the water. Whoa! Look out! Whoa! Uh-oh! <laughs> hey there, Blippi. Oh, hey, Larry. This is Babel and Tabs. Sorry we bonked into you. That's all right. It's all this sand floating around. Well, I'm off to get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. How can the dolphin see in this murky water? Think, think, think. Oh, I know. The dolphin is using echolocation. Echo what? Echolocation. It's how some animals like dolphins and bats see objects by reflecting sound off them. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need echolocation. Echolocation confirmed. Incredible. Amazing. Awesome. We should try making clicks like the dolphin. Look. The sound waves from the clicks are bouncing off the objects and coming back to us with information about how far and how big the objects are. Hey, there's the dolphin. We found her. Wait, come back. I didn't get to say hello. That's it. The dolphin is using a signature whistle to tell you her name. Try mimicking her signature whistle to call her back. All right. She understood me. Hey. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs and Babel. I think she wants to know your signature whistle so she can say your name in her language. Hmm. How about... Oh, what an amazing underwater adventure! And I got the answer to my question. How do dolphins communicate? Dolphins communicate with their signature whistles and chirps. And they can also use clicks to navigate and tell what's ahead. Upload answer tabs. Yes, precisely correct. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be the best English feast ever! I can't wait to make all my favorite foods from London, England. Uh-oh! Are you okay, Tabs? Whoa! Tabs, you look like a knight! Hmm, I wonder, what was it like to be a knight in shining armor? Great idea, Tabs. We can go back in time to medieval London and find out. <laughs> Going back in time! Halt! Who goes there? Hey, it's me, Flippy, and this is Tabs. Are you a knight? Sir Buttercup, loyal knight of Her Majesty's kennel. So cool! Can you show us what a knight does? Of course. I was just about to test the castle's defense system, which helps keep it safe. My counterpart, Sir Pudding, will be assisting. All right. Fire when ready. Whoa. Was that a tomato? Probably. The catapults are loaded with rotten fruit to fire at anyone who approaches the castle. Take cover! Look out! Oh. Who turned out the lights? <gasps> Are you okay? Yes! My armor is made of steel and can protect me from the most severe of boo-boos. Good job, Sir Pudding! <laughs> For this next test, we will need to be very careful. Follow me! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Slowly now, the moat is filled with terrible oh. creatures so that intruders can't get across. Oh, terrible creatures? They could attack at any moment. <laughs> you mean the little ducks? Oh, yes. <laughs> Whoa! Yikes! Hmm, <laughs> a doggy dish. The pudding must be hungry. But how can we get inside? The castle walls are built very high to keep intruders out. I've got an idea. Follow me. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Whoa! An English feast! I can see why you were protecting the castle. Oh, Sir Pudding, what a wonderful idea! Thank you for your help. I declare you Sir Blippy and Lady Tabs! Wow! What an honor! And I got the answer to my question. What was it like to be a knight in shining armor? It was awesome! Knights protected their castle and kept everyone safe. Upload answer tabs. Farewell! Bye bye Sir Buttercup! <laughs> Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika, Debo, and Tabs. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, who were they? We better go find out. Hey, Blippi! Mika! Over here! Can you help us? We'd love to help. The name's Boom. We're looking for something that we need, but we can't remember what it's called. And I'm Benjamin. The thing we need is kind of shaped like this, but with a less bouncy stick. Whoa! Whoa! Boom's away! Whoa! And it's frozen, like this. I'll get you out, Debo. Looks like you gotta shake it up. Oh, yeah. Shake it up. Whoa! Purple! No. Yellow! No. Oh, hi, Blippi and Mika. I'm Barry. Can you help me find something? <laughs> sure. We would love to help. It's usually red. Red? Got it. But it can also be purple. Or orange. Green. Or every color. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? Hey! <laughs> Hello! I'm Blue. I need the yummy for my tummy. You're looking for something that tastes good. It's a yummy and makes me feel happy inside. Oh, no! Hugs? <laughs> What's that? No, it's not that. Not that either. Was it... Boomsicle? Whoa! <laughs> oh, yay! Flippy and Mika, I'm Babel. Can you help me find this word? Let's sound it out. Something... Sickle? Tricycle? Bicycle? Whamsicle? <laughs> Good idea, Tabs. Let's review our notes. It's rectangular and has a stick. It's frozen. It could be any color. It makes you feel happy. And it sounds like something sickle. Hmm, this is tricky. Popsicles! <laughs> you were looking for popsicles. Yeah! yeah! Hey, who are you all? Boom! Benjamin Barry Blue! Babble! And we are the Curiosity Crew. Wow! I got the answer to my question. Who were they? 
They are my new friends, the Curiosity Crew. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at those birds! Oh! Wow! Look at all these animals we're finding! Maybe we'll find the king of the jungle next! Ah! <gasps> That's not the king of the jungle! King of the jungle? Wait, are, are you looking for a lion? There's not really any lions in the jungle. You gotta go to the savanna for that. Out there! Hmm, I wonder. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Whoa! <laughs> Lion! Cool! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Tabs. Hello, Blippi and Tabs. I'm Jabari, the king of the jungle. I was just sharpening my kingly skills on the lion obstacle course. The lion obstacle course? That's so cool! Would you like to train with me? If you complete the course, I'll make you honorary lions! Yeah! <laughs> Our first lesson is here, where you will learn to sneak like a lion. Sneak like a lion. Got it. Shh. Not so loud, Blippi. You will scare off the prey. The prey? The prey is the butterfly. Oh, I get it. Sneaky. Ow! <laughs> Not bad for a first try. Yeah! Let's try the next lesson. Jumping! Crouch down and feel your energy. Then, when you are ready, release the energy and jump! Are you ready, Tabs? Jump like a lion! Yes! Great job! Now there's one more lesson. Hop on my back and hang on tight! Welcome to the Roaring Arena! To roar like a lion, follow along. First, find your power. Lift up and roar! Way to go, Blippi and Tabs! You are now honorary lions. Thanks, Jabari. We had so much fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Even though lions are called king of the jungle, they actually live on the savanna. Lions are sneaky hunters, big jumpers, and have really loud roars. Upload answer tabs. See you next time we're in the savanna, Jabari. Goodbye, Blippi and Tabs. Come back and roar with me anytime. Blippi, did you know that today is Earth Day? I didn't. Hmm, I wonder. How do you celebrate Earth Day? Let's sing a song and find out. Look at what it's worth to live on planet Earth. It's the place that we call home. Yeah, it's pretty great. With the buzzing of the bees, the wind blowing through the trees. It's the place that we call home. And we must protect it so the plants can grow. So, Blippi, what can we do to help the Earth? I'm glad you asked, actually. Hit it! Instead of throwing this away, we can make it into a house where a bird can stay. Tweet, tweet, little birdie. Here's a new home for you. <laughs> Wait! Before you throw that in the trash, Give it to me, and in a flash, I'll fix it up for you. It's brand new. Helping Earth is what we have to do, and it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the Planet Earth Party. It's the Planet Earth Party. <laughs> so, Blippi, what other things can we do to 
protects the earth. We can sort the trash into different bins. Bottles, cans, and cardboard. Yeah, throw them in. Sort them out. Recycling is what it's all about. Woohoo! Don't forget the buzzy, buzzy bees. We need them to pollinate the flowers, don't you see? So the plants can grow. Come on, little bees, this way. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the Planet Earth Party. It's the Planet Earth Party. What are you doing, Mika? I'm planting a tree. See, the world is full of plants, flowers, and trees. Yeah. The plants help the earth breathe. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me, planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the planet Earth party. But it's not our home, is it, Blippi? Exactly! We share our home with so many different animals. And we need to keep the Earth healthy and happy so all the animals can be happy and healthy, too. From the elephants on the savannah To the polar bears at the North Pole The monkeys in the jungle Yeah, we all call the Earth our home When it's the home for you and me that we call home. <laughs> Fetch, Debo. <laughs> Whoa! I should have built a bigger moat. Huh? Sorry about your castle, Krabby. Oh, it's okay. There's plenty of sand to rebuild it. <laughs> Good question, Debo. Hmm, I wonder. Where does sand come from? To answer that, you'll have to go to the top of Mount Peaky. To the top of Mount Peaky we go. I'm gonna need wings and frog legs. Wings, frog legs, confirmed. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hey there, I'm Wayne the Boulder. I just woke up from the best dream. I was a grain of sand living atop a sand castle in a beach paradise. That's so cool. And I want to make my dream a reality. <laughs> Erosion is a process that usually takes millions of years. But let me break it down for you. Cannonball! Whee! <laughs> Look, I'm already smaller. Erosion usually takes so long, but I'm feeling ambitious today. Yeah, let's go. Activate propeller. Propeller confirmed. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, Blippi. Me too. Whirlpool! Whoa! Erosion makes me dizzy. Water slowly breaks down rocky surfaces, but this whirlpool is really speeding things up. Activate Turbo Booster. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, look how small I am! Shrinking down! Wow, Wayne, you're so small we can barely keep up. Here's the secret to keeping up. You gotta... Whoa! Whoa. 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 Catch that fish! Whoa, Wayne! You're tiny! Yup! <laughs> Even fish play a part in the process of erosion. Now let's go find my dream castle! Whoa! Oh boy! Here we go! Ah, there! My sand castle's complete! Ha! <laughs> I did it! 
My dream came true! Thanks for being a gem during my erosion! It was a blast! And I got the answer to my question. Where does sand come from? Sand comes from big boulders as they break into smaller pieces through a process called erosion, which usually takes millions of years. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Buh bye bye Goodbye! See you later!